Hello and welcome to the Spectrum Show 16K edition. In this series we'll be taking a look exclusively at 16K games for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. This episode's game is Pool, released in 1983 by Bugbyte Software. You can play with another person, taking turns, or just in single player mode. Either way, the game works the same. The view is from directly above the table, and you begin with a cue ball and six other numbered balls. A small crosshair indicates where the shot will be aimed, and a power meter continually steps through the five options. The crosshair can be moved anywhere using the cursor keys, and not just around the edges of the table, like some other games. All of the balls are the same colour, which is a bit of a shame really. Once in position, you wait for the power meter to reach the desired level, and press S to take the shot. The ball physics are quite good, but the big disappointment is the lack of sound. Everything is played out in silence. I know this game is only 16k, but even a small clicking sound on impact would have greatly improved the playing experience, and there was plenty of room to fit one in because the game code is only 6k long. The rules differ from real pool. You have three lives, and a life is lost if you take three shots without potting one of the balls, or if you pot your cue ball. If this happens, the table is reset, meaning you lose any balls that you may have positioned ready to clear up. When a ball is potted, you are told the score, which is ten times the number on the ball, and your crosshair resets back to the top left of the table. This wastes a lot of time, and it would have been better to either leave it where it was, or put it into the middle of the table. When I started playing this, the lack of sound started to get to me, so I put on some music. This made a difference, and then I spent over an hour playing this game. As I played more, my accuracy got better, but at times it was still best just to blast the cue ball around and hope for a fluke shot. This happened quite often, which was great. Overall, then, it's a pity about the sound, but this game isn't bad once you get into it. I'll be back with another 16K game soon. Thanks for watching.